This is one of my natural light kits. It is actually a fanny pack style from Columbia. Uh, the reason why I chose this was because it's large enough to hold a full size camera with a small lens. Uh, sometimes I like shooting prime lenses. So in this case here we have the Canon 1D with the 50, 1.4 lens. I like this perspective that it gives. You know, 50 millimeter times uh, the 1. Point, I guess 3 crop 1.25 gives you a nice perspective. Uh, it's actually black taped all the markings to make it more inconspicuous. And I don't have the you know, that obnoxiously red strap. People, it's like a walking logo. I'm not a big fan of logos. This is actually an icon strap, but. It's a different kind of strap. It's like a film strap, not their uh, modern yellow straps. I don't really care you know, about branding and whatnot, so I'll use whatever I have. Um, why would I carry this kit? Well, sometimes if I want to go outside and you know, I don't want to carry anything expensive. Um, this is an old camera, so while it looks expensive, it's not really anymore. And I'll take this out in risky situations. It could also be that it's bad weather. I won't use this lens. I'll use a weather sealed lens and the whole unit can just be something I can use without worrying it's going to get messed up. Um, going back to the case, you know, there's a lot of space in here, definitely. I can put bigger lenses, uh, but I usually don't. Like I said, I like using primes. Sometimes I put my uh, point and shoot inside this other bag. I'll carry a flash if I want to use an actual flash. We go with more business cards, but memory cards and whatnot in here. And I think that is it about this bag. Here I have another fanny pack. This is actually something which holds my point and shoot. I really like. Uh, these type of bags because I can wear it in many different ways whether it's on my waist, uh, over my shoulder, across my shoulders so going through this bag it is uh, you know it's leather so it's uh, waterproof um, there's a couple of pockets on the side which I can put memory cards, batteries the front pocket right now you know, sometimes they throw coins or, I don't know, something in there. Uh, but I have the camera strap. I actually kind of like taking the camera strap off sometimes. Because they might get tangled up in things. So, I just like them off. Inside here is actually my most portable kit. And I actually have the diffuser, the camera, and a flash in here. It's a pretty much... Kind of like having a big camera, but just the miniaturized version. This is the Panasonic LX3, my current favorite camera for a couple of reasons. It has a hot shoe, so I can use my full-blown lights. You know, throw one of the wireless radio transmitters here, like Pocket Wizards or my Allen Chrome transmitter. It's METS uh, 28 CS2 Digital. This is a slave flash. It's a built-in bracket. When I just pop open the flash on the camera, it's so close that this always works. I just turn the flash power to the lowest setting, which is I think here is like negative two. And then I manually control the power of this flash. So that is how I'm able to have a lot greater control. Um, I also like this flash because it has very many features. It can work with many different cameras. The slave uh, function is programmable to a different number of pre-fires. I can adjust the power manually and this actually can work with uh, other METS master flashes so this can be like a slave to them. I think this is a great little flash. Uh, I use this whole rig for uh, indoor kind of events and in outdoors, this camera is great because this is an electronic shutter, so I don't have to worry about sync speed issues. I can make it 
very dark outside just by shooting at a higher shutter speeds. You know, if I shoot at uh, one one thousandth of a second or even faster, and I stop down, I can make the sky or everything around really dark. And then I can use my flash to really brighten up the subject. If I were to use another type of camera with the sync speed limitation, you know, just like a DSLR or other point and shoots, then I would have to use a much more powerful flash because I would have to stop down those cameras' apertures more. Um, well, that's enough about the camera. We'll take a look at my diffuser right now. Uh, Interfit makes a lot of cool products. Uh, this, this is like a new line called the Strobies. This is for those people who like to use flashes. This happens to be one of them. I use this a lot in my kits for like events and something when I need a forward filling flash. It basically opens up like this and you shoot the flash here and it diffuses it and the lens goes through this hole. So this is something which I use quite often. It's great and in this kit it completes kind of like my portable I guess you know, studio if you'd call that. <laughs> studio in a pocket or in a bag. Okay, well that's that. When I'm shooting natural light I tend to carry much smaller bags this is a one which um, is actually a Pentax camera bag. So it's actually padded and it's a shoulder kind of a bag. I mean, it can actually hold a lot of weight because this strap goes all the way to the bottom. It holds its shape fairly rigidly, so I, I kind of actually like carrying this because it uh, keeps its shape, whereas other bags they sort of fall apart when there's nothing inside there. Okay, so here, the only thing I have is just one of my camera bodies. This is the uh, Canon 5D full frame. Um, usually when I take this out, this bag, I'm only going to be shooting natural light. Maybe I'll just shoot like some headshots or like just something where I don't carry a lot. So I only use one lens here and I just leave it inside there. It'll just be the, you know, like the 135 or the 24 to 105. But just something where I know exactly what I'm doing. And it's going to just all fit inside this little space. Um, the only thing we have here is a lens cleaning pen. This is a very small one. I have a couple of these, you know, just like a rocket blower I have a couple in different bags. This is a smaller one you see here. I have uh, larger ones in the larger bags. This is uh, the brush portion and this is the, it's kind of like the felt tipped portion I guess that's what you'd call it. Okay well that's it for this bag. Here we have another type of backpack bag. This is uh, heavily padded, as you see. You can see how thick this is. This is mainly used to carry computers. This is what this is for. This is a laptop bag. I don't actually use this much on set because I don't like to carry such huge laptops. I usually carry smaller kind of like laptops for previews. But inside here, right now, we have uh, two of my laptops. They're uh, 15 inch laptops with the high resolution screens. You know, the ones which are like I think uh, 16 something pixels by 1000 something pixels. So these have more real estate, which is great for editing if you have like Lightroom and you need all those palettes in Photoshop. There's two laptops in here. Um, I also have one of my netbooks in here. Uh, I usually carry computers inside, you know, my regular photo backpack. So that is why I do not carry this too often.